So guys, I just received the package and well, let's unbox it. I think it's a keyboard I ordered and yeah, it's, let me turn this light off. It's this big ass package. So yeah, so let me get something to open this up. And I mean, I mean, I'm opening this downstairs because, oh wait, I need to clean this after due to, you know, coronavirus. That's a pretty big box for this small, I mean, it's not a small package, but you know what I mean. So let's lift this outside. And yeah, and that's literally everything. So I'm gonna leave this aside because you know, then we don't wanna get infected. And then now I'm gonna get some alcohol and get this. Cleaned up, and that's how I'm gonna some alcohol, and then I'm gonna start the cleaning process for this. So, like, what you do is literally put alcohol on the piece of paper, not too much, and just you know, get over it like this, and after get the piece of paper and dry it. And well, I think that's all I need to do. And now let's go upstairs and open this up. So this is this is a keyboard. So I hit my back up chair. But wow, this is a keyboard, the Logitech MK two three five. And well, um, let's read the specification behind here. Well, let me close this wall. Yeah, that's better. So it got uh, it uses batteries and it's waterproof. Ten meters for connection. It has a hundred keys. It works with uh, Windows, Chrome OS, and Linux. And well, so it comes with a mouse, with a USB receiver, and the keyboard. So, well, and yeah, it tells here it works within the one 10, 8, 7, Linux, USB. And well, so without wasting any time, let's actually get this opened up. I need to open this part. So, let me find something to open this. Okay, so after a long time, I finally got it open. I nearly broke this part, but when you open it right here, you can you can see the USB receiver. Important to not lose this because if you lose this, well, you are in a really bad situation. So I'm gonna leave this here, and when you open it, the first thing you're gonna receive is the mouse, which I'll leave it apart. Then. On the side, you're gonna receive one battery double A and two batteries triple A. I think I said that right. And then uh, you, of course, you're gonna use battery to power this up. And well, Logitech claims to have a really long battery life. I think it's like 12 months for the mouse and like 36 months for the keyboard. And I mean, I can't really tell you guys that right now because you know I haven't. And well, this when you open it up, there's also instru instructions here to show you how to install it. But I can't really I should make sure, like tell you guys how long it lasts because you know I haven't barely started to use it. So and well that's everything inside the box so box away. So well here comes the keyboard. Let's open the keyboard up and there will be again a set of instructions. Which I didn't see it's so dropped and well this is a plastic you can keep the plastic if you want with a with a box and then I'm gonna also go and open this up. I'm gonna plastic or remember to recycle the plastic you want to be environmental friendly and well so to start with the mouse you just go like you just slide down here and you see this part and well here is a double A you check how to put it in and plug it in okay and well there's something really interesting that you guys need to know and is that here they have a place to, for the USB when you don't want to use it, you just can put it in there and you can keep it so you don't lose it and that, I think that's really nice touch by Logitech because you know sometimes maybe you want to remove it from your laptop and you don't know where to put it and well now you know where to put the USB receiver and behind the keyboard here you can see this part where you can put the two 
AAA batteries inside here and you place this back place it well because it seems like okay yeah so that's well placed and well so now you've got a keyboard and the mouse and well I say connected to a laptop I'm gonna connect to my laptop through USB and before that I'm gonna talk about a bit of a quality so if you listen to this so that's the keyboard bending so I mean it's made of plastic and well so it can bend but you know it's not the greatest quality but I think for the price it's really nice and also you guys you can see this type of like holes here right So well, this type of holes they are all around, and that's what makes this keyboard waterproof. So if you spill anything on top of on this, well, the liquid is gonna go through and filter out through these little holes. And I think that's great. You also got these two pads where you know you can put them and place them at an angle, so it's easier for typing. You've got all your functions keys there. And, but in order for some functions key to work, for example, uh, home, you've got email, search, key, uh, calculator, music, and previous song, next song, that's pause, I mean, pause, play, next song, mute, volume up, volume down, volume up, and input, imprint, oh sorry, imprint, uh, like screenshot, I think. You have to press the FM button and press one of these keys in order for it to work. And uh, if not, normally you just work at a normal function keys and you've got your number keypad here and yeah. So right now, without uh, including on the computer, I'm gonna show you a typing ex the sound and typing experience. So I mean, it's not really loud. It has some trouble, it does have trouble. So I think it's pretty nice for ty typing and well, so now let's actually plug into the computer and type something to see how actually it works. So uh, I just connected the, the USB unifier uh, here, you can see on my laptop. And wow, well, so, uh, and I opened it and I just, while I'm connected, okay, the mouse wants to say something, you've got an on and off button here, so you, when you don't want to use the mouse, you can turn it off, but the keyboard, you can't turn it off. So why am I connected to the, why am I connected to the, my laptop? I felt like the mouse is really snappy. So I, I don't see any latency in the mouse. Like whenever I click, it's really responsive. I mean, it's not a gaming mouse, but like, it's really responsive. There's no lag right now at the start. And the good, the mouse, I mean, it doesn't work on most of the surface, unlike the MX Master 2S, and you can work on any surface. I mean, this mouse is really cheap. And it works on the table without problem. You don't need a mouse pad, but probably if you use it on the surface, on glass surface, well, you might need a glass uh, mouse pad there. But on no normal table, it works really well. It's really snappy. And unless, I'm f the only bad thing is a bit small for my hand, so the grip's got a bit weird, but I think you can get used to it. So right now I'm gonna um, do a keyboard word test. I, I just searched up, and well, I mean, while I was searching stuff, everything was really well. And then I'm gonna do a quick t uh, test. So. So, okay, so I'm gonna say something, and wow, well, I, I did this test, I did pretty bad, as you can see, but also because of the fact, I'm first, okay, this keyboard, let's say, the typing experience is really great, okay, I like how it typed, but there's something weird about the spacing that they have on this, that I just can't get used to it, and maybe also because, you know, I'm, due to the camera angle, I'm in a different position, but, I mean, let's try the function button. So the function button works perfectly. Uh, unfortunately, I don't like the position here, but oh well. 
But yeah, as I said, I mean, I think if I get used to it and adapt, adapt to this keyboard, I think I will be fine. The key does, the key press, as I said, there, there's some, there, do, there are some key presses, but yeah, you, you need to get used to it. And I think in general, this keyboard is a great keyboard for the price. And well, guys, I think that's all I have to say about this keyboard. And yeah, so I enjoyed this unboxing of this new tech. If you did, press the like button and subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.